With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here the question is, a solenoid of length 8 cm has 500 tons per meter in it. If the radius of the coil is 3 cm, radius of the coil is 3 cm and if it is carrying a current of 2 ampere, Find the magnetic induction at a point 4 cm from the end on the axis of the solenoid. Now students, let us consider this is a solenoid, right? This is our solenoid. Now students, it has a radius. It is a radius R which is given as R which is given as 3 centimeter. 3 centimeter. Now a point we have taken at a distance. Let us suppose a point P which is at a distance 4 centimeter from one end of the coil right. This distance here is 4 centimeter now students the length of this uh, length of this solenoid is 8 centimeter this length of the solenoid is n centimeter right now suppose students with this end let us suppose the point p makes an angle makes an angle alpha 1 this is angle alpha 1 now student and uh, let us draw a let us draw a line from this point, this end to the point P. And let us suppose this angle is alpha 2. This angle is alpha 2. Now student, again draw a, let us draw a perpendicular here also. Now student, for, uh, let us consider this is point A, this is point O and this is point B, this is this is point B, this is point O dash. Now in this triangle A, O and P, that is cos of alpha 2, cos of alpha 2 would be the base that is 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter plus 4 centimeter, right? The base of this triangle is 8 centimeter plus 4 centimeter divided by the height, right? Here R is given as 3 centimeter and he, the total distance here is 12 centimeter, right? So, this distance would be, that is AP, distance would be what? 3 square plus 12 centimeter square, right? Now, calculating this, we will get 12 divided by under root 9 plus 144, right? That implies students, calculating it, we will get cos of alpha 2 will be equals to 4 divided by 4 divided by under root 17. Now students, in this triangle B, O dash and P, the cos of cos of alpha alpha 1, cos of alpha 1 would be equals to the base here is 4 centimeter, right? The base here is 4 centimeter whole divided by under root. The height would be 4 square plus 3 square and this is students 4 divided by under root 16 plus 9 so this is we get 4 divided by 5 that is cos of alpha 1 we found out to be 4 divided by 5 now students magnetic field at a point p we know the formula b is equals to mu multiplied by mu 0 multiplied by number of turns per length n multiplied by current i divided by 2 whole multiplied by cos of alpha cos of alpha 1 minus cos of alpha 2 that implies students mu 0 we know 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and n here is given as n here is given as 500 right 500 multiplied by current and current in this is given as 2 ampere that is 2 ampere whole divided by 2 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कॉस ऑफ अल्फा वन इज फोर डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव माइनस फोर डिवाइडेड बाय अंडर रूट सेवेंटीन राइट दैट इंप्लाइज कैलकुलेटिंग एट विल गेट द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंडक्शन एट पॉइंट पी विल बी इक्वल्स टू माइनस ऑफ वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टेन टू द पावर माइनस फोर टेस्ला दिस इज आवर आंसर थैंक यू for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today